Hello there, today I want to debut for you version 2 of the oldnet.com serial Wi-Fi modem. And you'll notice a big difference over version 1 through 1.3 um, is it's shorter and it now has an optional 3D printed case. And I'm very proud to be uh, offering this now on the oldnet.com slash store. Uh, a lot of you were requesting a case. so. Uh, you ask, I deliver. Now this case is a clear uh, 3D printed PLA case. It has buttons that you can see here. Uh, this is to reset the device, sorry this one, and this if you uh, hold it, it will uh, reset the device back to factory defaults. There's a nice gap around it so that uh, when you plug in a cable it is able to fit in all of the way. Uh, you can see if you are using a serial cable like this, uh, these screws go right in. If you're plugging this directly into a computer, you'll know that the computer end is the part with the screws. Uh, you simply just unscrew these to take them off. And then it'll look like that. Uh, I'm going to take the case apart and show you what version 2 of the modem looks like and what changes I had to make. So first off, I really wanted a pressure fit case rather than using screws or anything like that. So a lot of uh, prototyping went into getting the right feel here. Uh, also, I'm going to open the case upside down so that these buttons don't fall out. So I just give a little twist. So there you go. Here's the front piece, uh, which mates onto the serial connection uh, quite well. And now we pull out the modem, and there it is. This is V2 of the modem, and I just want to compare it to uh, a V1 modem. You can see right here, it's shorter. I've cut that back part of uh, the green board off, and uh, that took a bit uh, to get right as well. What a lot of people do when they cut these boards down is they just score it with a blade and then snap it, and that doesn't leave a very good, clean, straight edge. So what I did is I uh, designed this jig that I also 3D printed, and these boards can go inside, and this clamps into a vise, and then I just take a hacksaw and cut the board, and it gives a nice clean edge. I wanted to um, put extra effort into, like, I guess the, the design of the thing. Um, so here you are, the cut edge faces on the inside, so you don't see it as much, and there you go. So this is the new modem, it's available on the store now, and uh, whether you order a case or not, they will come cut down like this, so that if you ever want to fit it in a case, you can. Um, one thing to note, uh, or a couple things to note, inside of the case there is these little tracks for the green circuit board to sit inside of. Uh, it's got the USB power connection right there, which is why I had to make a shorter design so that the USB connection would be at the very back. And these buttons, if you take the case apart and you're going to put um, it back together, make sure those buttons are all the way down not sticking up a bit, or else what they'll do is you run a little risk of catching uh, this button when you install it, and I've actually broken some off before when I was being careless. So anyway, just make sure they're not like sticking up out of the way, you know? Uh, so here we are. The thing is inserted, and we simply just put the cap on. There we go. Let's power this thing up so you can see why it shows clear. So it's just micro USB, of course. And there are three LEDs on this device. There is a blue status light here, and this will actually flash when you're going to do a factory reset. Uh, inside of here, there's a, well, hard to see. Let's kill the lights for a sec. There's a red LED there as well. And when you're actually connected to the internet, there's a, a Wi-Fi status light too. So let me see if I can fire this one up. I'm connecting it to a computer that's configured for 300 baud, and I actually have this configured for 9600. So what I'm going to do is hold it down until it rapidly flashes. Now I'm actually connecting uh, to a bulletin board system. You can see the status lights make the case glow nicely like that. Um, so there we go. Uh, it's available at theoldnet.com slash store. Uh, you can buy the modem as it is, or you can buy the modem with a 3D printed case. Uh, I'm only offering clear. And uh, I just wanted to show like, 
I said I started this about a month ago. Like this is this is the amount of uh, iterations I've done, different different sizes, tried different things. Uh, let's see, you know, here I was trying to get like an F and an R printed into it for like the flash and reset button. Um, I I didn't like how that turned out, and I didn't think I could get it much better. You know, I'm experimenting with different buttons, different ends, all of that kind of stuff. So it is. Uh, quite a, well, it is quite a process. I'm very happy that um, I found something that I'm happy with, and today I'm I'm debuting it. This is out for sale.